Hi, I'm Tam with the SCO with your solar storm forecast for the week of October 24th. I'm here to talk about the amazing amount of activity. Just in the last 48 hours, we've had seven M-class flares. Some of these have spawned earthward directed solar storms. So along with our regular ejections, like what you see right there, we have four solar storms that are headed toward Earth. And the sun keeps popping, 1875 goes right there. There's an M42, and you can see in the coronagraph, it's a nice halo, so that is earthward directed, and 1875 continues to pop. And then just when we think, now, couldn't anything else could go wrong? Oh my goodness, here's an almost an X-class flare from spot 1877. Who would have figured? Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see in 131 angstroms all that material that's getting lit up. So we do have a solar storm that's coming toward Earth. We just have to wait for the models to give us more details on its impact. Now, switching to prediction models, this is Enlil. Top panel is density, bottom panel is velocity. You can see one, two, three storms coming towards us, hitting on the 24th and the 25th. But wait, that's not all. This is an early prediction of the solar storm coming from that M4.2 flare I showed earlier. Now, early predictions, you can see it's absolutely massive. And when I set this model in motion, you can see how big it is. More recent runs of the model have shown that this thing isn't quite this big, but nonetheless, it is an absolute direct hit. If I take the impact footprint and I flip it so that north is facing up, you can see Earth is right in the middle of this thing. The impact is expected somewhere on the 26th. So what's causing all the commotion? Well, basically it's 1875. You can see all these colors represent different magnetic polarities. And all that mixing means it's very magnetically unstable. As you can see up here, all of this white lightning is electromagnetic instability and reorganization. And that's what's causing these flares that you see down here. So we're expecting more of that because this region is continuing to grow and get more complicated. So as we return to the full disk, you can see region 1875 and 1877 have been evolving like crazy, especially region 1875. All that black and white magnetic mixing there shows that it's incredibly unstable still, and it's still growing. Both regions have delta spots in them, so don't expect these M flares to go away anytime soon. NOAA is predicting uh, a 40% chance of M flares for the, over the next three days, and a 5% chance of X flares, which I think is conservative, considering we've had seven M flares in the past 48 hours, plus an almost X flare as well. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means you're probably gonna have continued intermittent problems with things like your internet and your Wi-Fi access. You're gonna have cell phone issues, any type of mobile or broadband connectivity might be problematic. Even debit card transactions, either pay at the pump or maybe even bank transactions you might have problems with. And also, definitely do not blindly trust your GPS services, whether they be traffic or geolocation right now. And that's just with flares, because remember, we actually have four incoming solar storms as well. And with those comes bigger disruptions and beautiful aurora and all sorts of other types of fun. And that's going to happen somewhere on the 24th in through the 26th. We may actually have even another storm on its way that could hit us somewhere on the 27th or 28th, but the models haven't come out to tell us the details on that one yet. So everybody stay safe over the course of this week and in through Halloween. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.